y'all. It's the Carla with D Love of Fashion, and look who it is if it's not my good sidekick, Foxy. Everybody's been wanting to see her pretty little face, and yes, even though it's like 90 or almost 100 degrees outside, she is playing nice and put on a fur coat for us so she can help celebrate uh, my fall phase. So, we're going to let her down because I know she's like, look, she's already saying... I'm out, Mom. I'm done. It's too hot. So, we're going to let her down. Hold on. Okay. So, she's now running around. If you hear the little tippy-tap, that's my girl. Anyway, so, this is about my fall faves. Um, I just want to show you and talk about some of the stuff that I'm loving right now or always craving or newly craving. Um, and before I forget, please don't forget to follow me on my social medias. Under DeCarla, oh my gosh, D Love of Fashion. That's what it is, D Love of Fashion. And that is where my Facebook page is. I have Pinterest. I have TikTok, Instagram. And I also have something new I've designed. Like I have like nine t-shirts I've designed and it's on eBay. And I've heard you can't find it yet, so I'm going to have to do some exploring on that. But it's to Carla Go Fast 316. That's D-C-A-R-L-A-G-O-F-A-S-T 316. And then also follow me if you want to uh, purchase anything of my uh, gently used clothing off Poshmark. And that's under Foxy D Love, you know, from my girl Fox. So anyways, let's get this started because I'm so excited. I don't like the cold, but I do like some of the fashions, so I always kind of have a little rustle about this. It's like, I'd rather wear not as many clothes, but I do love my faux fur, and I do love my boots. So, sometimes you got to make amendments or whatever, and run really fast. Or, thank goodness my car is in the garage now, so I don't have to worry about it as much until I'm outside. So, the first thing on my list is going to be bucket hats. Why? I don't know. Those aren't typically something I go for. However, I saw a couple of them and I will always have pictures right here for you to see. But like the first one that I found that I fell in love with is a faux leather one. I mean, it would look really good with the pops of my colors of my hair with the dark and the blonde. Um, and with your hair just like in some loose waves. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm going to say big hoop earrings. But, I don't know, there's just something about it. And there was a real pretty pink one, but I couldn't ever find it again. So, I think it was sequiny or glittery or something, but I really like that one too. And then there's also this leopard one, which I'm very picky about my leopard spots, and I really like these spots. And again, it would look really good with my hair with some loose waves and stuff, you know, loose curls in my hair. And of course, big hoops. So, anyways, that's on my list. And then the second thing that I'm really loving right now are the balloon sleeve sweaters. And that just means it's like the sweater sleeves are a lot bigger. Some of them are going to have the elastic right here, and it's just going to be this big, voluminous balloon sleeve. And the first one, there's been many of them, but I really like this turquoise one. It's a beautiful color. Don't know if I'd wear the turquoise, but I do really like it. It's a real pretty pop of turquoise. I mean, you could wear beautiful turquoise necklaces with it. Um, or you could wear, of course, I would say to wear a fur scarf or any kind of scarf with it just to add a little something different with that big beautiful sleeve. And it did come in other colors like black and tans and I'm not for sure what else. Maybe I don't even know if there was red ones, but I did like, like the brown and the tans and definitely the black one. But... The, with the turquoise, at least you can see the details in the picture. And then my next one that I found, this one was on Zulily, and it was a, it's maroon, and it has the fringe balloon sleeves. They're not to the elastic to the to the wrist, but it's all these rows of like fringe or whatever, and it has a little bit of the cable knit. So pretty, and that one does come in black, which of course I do like the black, of course. And the cream color, and I think there was like a green one. So go to zoolily.com. They have lots of stuff. And, oh, it takes up a lot of my time looking at all the different things that they have for sale. Um, and then I'm also, I always, always love ponchos. 
and I just think they're easy and versatile. You can throw a turtleneck on or just a t-shirt on underneath and then just throw that on over it. And if you want to dress it up more, you can wear like necklaces um, over it or you could do a fur scarf, of course, or any scarf would do. And sometimes, like with this girl here, I like to do like a scarf and the necklaces. It just adds a little bit more something exciting you know, and I like that look. Of course, you have to have really, really long necklaces and a shorter scarf, but it looks good. You can also always add brooches, which brooches are really in right now. And the best place to buy brooches are going to be at Hobby Lobby. They just have thousands of them, and I have quite a few myself. Um, so anyways, that's... Ponchos are just... And I can't remember if I did a video or I have a picture of me, but... I have a, a faux suede brown one and I just wore it like a one sleeve so I just put my head and one arm through it and that way it just gave me an angle like that and that's probably maybe a little bit more of a good summer look but I just it's a, just a different way to wear it and some ponchos they have the the point that goes down some of them you can twist them around so it's more of a rectangle up front and then you have the the points going on on the sides of your arms it just kind of depends on how you feel I've worn them both ways I think I have a gray one like that but it just kind of depends on my mood on how I feel like it looks and it probably depends on the color of my pants down below like if I'm wearing like these faux leather ones I have on I would probably be okay with wearing it like this I just don't feel like it covers me as much as like when it's going this way and um, so I've the ones I picked out are like this brown one with the tassels and it looks like it's a faux suede and it's a Zulily poncho and it's fabulous. Just think of all the colors you could wear. I mean, you could wear turquoise with that. You could wear pink with that. Purples. You could even keep it in the same family. Again, add fur with it. Um, there's so many different ways to wear it. And then there's also this black and white one. I love the pops of the black and the white. And then... Um, you can wear different boots with it. And I, I decided to draw some things because I feel like with ponchos, if you wear something big on top, you need to keep your pants leaner and smaller, like a skinny leg. And then I also feel like to balance it, balance it, you need a taller boot. I just feel like it's like with a poncho it's like really big and then your legs are little and then your feet get even smaller so I just feel like you need a taller boot just to balance it out so let me show you some of my little fancy little drawing so to me this is how it works to be where it's all balanced out see how it's like it's got your triangle and then it's your long legs and then and trust me that point's gonna help you with the long legs and then same with like a skinny jean or whatever and it depends on the color of the skinny jean and all that you can work with how this all balances out for you and then same with the boots so it just kinda helps make it all make sense instead of just I'll show you the next one so then the next one is still with your point but I just see how it just your feet just look little I mean not that we don't want our feet to look little but it just it just looks better when the boot is just a little taller I feel like and then it just depends on the boot on how to help your leg or whatever so and then this one I am not a fan of like you wear a poncho and then you wear you know like a big top and then a big pair of pants like a, a flare but I have seen it sometimes where it does look good it just kind of depends on I think the length of the poncho because I think if the poncho is a little shorter then it's not going to be just so long and drab and just drown you out in clothing so to me this is what it looks like you know with the big triangle and then you have more triangles down here and it just is like big on big and to me I just like it better when I feel like it's big on top and then leaner on the bottom and then like I said with the boots it just kind of anchors it and does it does it just make it go like big to small but play with your sizes in your shapes it depends on your body type but for my body type I prefer this one with the, the taller boots that way it kind of evens it all out um, 
and I brought, did bring, I showed, here's a couple of different kinds of pairs of boots. Like, these ones are really tall. They go way over the knees, and they do have a heel, and a heel always helps too. But I also have flat ones like that are these tall. So it just kind of depends on where you're going, what you're doing. So these are fabulous because of the fringe, you know. Fringe is very in. It usually is this time of year anyways. And there's all kinds of boots. And, and you don't always have to go for the cowboy boots. But again, and fringe but and leopard. But I just like these. And you know, they look good with this girl over here with the cardigan. <laughs> so anyways, and these are one of my favorite new pairs. And okay, so that's it about my ponchos. And then there's this ruffled tear top. And I did find it at a Western store. Um... I'll have to get the name so that way you guys can go look them up online and they have the different colors and it is so cute. I, I love the way it's just like kind of flowy and the way they have it in the picture right now it's kind of for summer still so they still have the jean shorts on and you can wear your sandals or I probably wouldn't wear sneakers because I like it a little more dressed up but maybe a, maybe you could wear a booty or something like that with that because of the shorts and with your legs in between um, so and then you can transition it to you know winter and then you could add your leggings or you could wear your denim and you could always just do a little bit of a tuck in one of your pockets just to kind of make it look a little different and and I could see where you could wear you know tall boots or the booties with that just because it it's a different kind of flowy than just like a big poncho because sometimes these things are just they're 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 kind of big and you know that's a good thing because they're nice to cover up and they help keep you warm so anyways and this is very much a very nice boho look but yeah I will get you that name of where I found them at a boutique because I'm on this where I can order you know things for retail pieces so I will get you that. And also, another thing that I love, I'm going to show you quite a few. There's like three pairs. There's like these Durango Blue. They're wedge sandals. And I'm telling you, a wedge and a platform are very comfortable to walk in. Um, there's just something the way they make them. Our feet just slip in there just nicely. And the heel isn't as tall as it looks, thanks to the platform. And I also got two black clogs with like the nail heads in them and one of them is a wedge and shows it with some skinny jeans and there's one that just has the heel on it. And I also have my own pair which is a Jessica Simpson pair. They're so cute. I got them at a thrift store and I got them for $4.50 which is very nice. They're very cute. I haven't worn them yet. I haven't had a chance to go anywhere to like be wearing them and... I'm not just going to go to Walmart in these. And the thing I was saying about how comfortable they are, it has to do with the way it just fits your foot naturally. And all this, you aren't walking all this. Just remember that all this platform is there too. So your foot is really not that high up. It's a little more flat. And I have a really high arch, so these kinds of shoes really help me. But not all platforms are made the same, so you do definitely need to try them on because... It's hard for me to explain, but if you can't feel the ground in them, then they're hard to walk in and you do a lot of teetering because you can't feel the ground. And I know it seems weird that you can feel the ground with all this platform. I don't know if they vibrate or something like that. Maybe the, some of them are hollow and that's why you can feel the ground. So like when you're stepping, you can feel where it's hitting that. And I... And I think that's the only thing I could think of. It's a little more hollow, and so it kind of vibrates in there so you can feel it. Because if not, it's kind of hard to know, like, where you're stepping and stuff. Because, you know, like, with these things, you step on a little rock, it's like skateboarding, and you go like that. Yeah, that's easy to do. And sometimes they might have a little more right here, and you can step on a rock, so it kind of absorbs that rock so you don't teeter as much. But anyways, this is another thing that I love are the clogs and uh, kind of show you my ladies for today my star skin hutch sweater cardigan hi carrie i know we love these sweaters at boot barn and this is a miss me sweater it's a couple years old but i wanted to show it because you know it's nice to have the black and white it's just a good sharp 
you know, contrast. And then I just added a pop of turquoise so that way it just, you know, gives you something to look at. And then the cute horse underneath there. And then I have this, this is from Old Navy. An old scarf of my beautiful Thunderbirds. And this lady over here has got... I didn't realize I just I picked two Thunderbirds. Oh, well, that was one's a necklace, but anyways. And so this one's a Thunder t-shirt with a camo. And yes, I love camo and leopard together. I love leopard with a lot of things. I love it with this plaid. I love it with flowers. It makes me crazy. And it's a good thing. Like when I'm like, whoa, oh my gosh, it's so good. And so then with the fur scarf, and then, like I said, there's the necklaces underneath, and then just your pair of jeans, and I got this off of Amazon, and I have seen these in a lot of different places. If you like the animal print, there's like, there's some at Walmart, and I don't, can't remember if it's a normal leopard color, but I know they have like, they have like zebra and tiger, and they have them in like different colors. I know there's like purple and green and stuff like that. And then like this cardigan, I mean, this wrap, I just got it last year at Old Navy. I love the buffalo plaid. And then with this scarf, I have one of these long ones. And I just safety pin them on there so it kind of stays on there and not, you know, so I can move around. Maybe I want to wear black for one time. And so I love this look. It's just, it's comfortable. It's easy. And I look all dressed up without not a lot of fuss. So anyways, that's it for today. So be sure to like, comment, and share. Is that it? Like, comment, and share? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I memorize all this stuff as I'm going along, but that's what I like. And um, be sure to follow me on my social medias. And it's going to be D Love of Fashion. And that's going to be my Facebook page. My TikTok, my Pinterest, my Instagram, and Foxy D Love is where my Poshmark closet is for my gently worn clothing. And I have a few other things, you know, like I got some different books and stuff like that. And again, I do have some t shirts that I'm selling on eBay now. And it's going to be on those print on demand. So you place the order and then they have to print it and then they'll ship it to you. And my t shirts, I think, are about $25 and shipping is about $5. I have nine designs right now. I can't get the hoodie to upload. And the hoodie's so cute because it's one of those short cropped ones, you know. So I'll keep working on that or I'll work on a different design for it. Maybe it doesn't like the design because I put my d of Fashion on there because I just thought that would be really cute and really fun. Or maybe I should just have one for me. I don't know. So anyways, again, I appreciate it. And y'all have a great weekend. And... God bless America because tomorrow is going to be is a very important day to remember all the ones that we lost and the ones that helped provide and protect our country. And Lord knows our country needs some more protection right now. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Bye.